Good morning. Happy Monday. Well, we are kicking off your work week with some good news. We do have more rain in the forecast that is coming your way tonight. Now, with this storm, there are some high winds associated with it. There is actually a wind advisory. I'll show you in just a moment here. But with that, we do have a chance of getting some possible power outages. There is a good chance that there will be some debris on the road tomorrow morning, maybe even some trees down. So keep an eye out for that. And the roads are going to be wet and slippery. Can almost guarantee that. So do plan on getting out the door a little bit earlier for tomorrow morning. Here's a look at that wind advisory. So all of the areas in blue to the north of our viewing area are going to be under that advisory from 7 p.m. tonight. So 7 p.m. Monday night through 3 a.m. Tuesday morning. Now there is always the chance that this could be extended if winds are increasingly gusty overnight. So for now it could it is set to expire at 3 a.m. could be extended though. So just stay tuned to the forecast. We do have southerly winds, so they're going to be pushing up from the south at about 20 to 30 miles per hour. At higher elevations, though, you could see gusts up to 45 miles per hour. And of course, with that, like I mentioned, blowing debris, you could see trees down and you could see power outages as well and difficulty driving, especially with those higher profile vehicles. So just things to prepare yourself for for tomorrow morning. As for today, Monday around 1 p.m., we'll start to see those high clouds sort of wash over the area. That's the very beginning of this front coming through. And we can fast forward this to around 9 p.m. That's when you could see some raindrops already for Santa Cruz County. So the beach all the way up into the mountains. Everywhere else, though, probably not going to see any rain yet. It will be overcast, but probably nothing reaching the ground just yet. But by 2 a.m., definitely going to be seeing some rain throughout the area. And unlike the former two fronts, the last two rainstorms that we saw in the area over the past couple weeks, this one actually will bring some rain down to southern Monterey County. So places like King City, Parkfield, and Bradley that really didn't tap much into the precipitation that we saw the last couple rainstorms, if at all, you will be getting some rain out of this one. So good news for you guys down south. Now the rainstorms will dissipate by around 8 a.m. You could see a stray raindrop around breakfast time, but for the most part, you should be done by the start of your school day. Tuesday should be fizzled out by then. And into your Wednesday morning, definitely expecting some dense fog, really, for the immediate coast, Santa Clara Valley. It'll follow you up to San Jose and down the Salinas Valley as well. So foggy start to the day following that rain Wednesday morning. But let's get you through today. Here's what you can expect in terms of high temperatures here on the Central Coast today. Santa Cruz area, really low 60s across the board. You've got high 50s for the Summit area as well as Bonnie Dune. But other than that, lots of 60s, 61 in Santa Cruz, but not a whole bunch of change there. Salinas area, really mild day here. Mid 60s for Salinas, mid 60s all the way over to Hollister through Morgan Hill. Not a ton of change there. 64 in Prunedale and then on the immediate coast, lower 60s up toward Aptos and it will be a little bit more overcast for coastal areas today as that front starts to arrive for the Monterey Bay Peninsula. We don't get much above 64 degrees. That should be the warmest in that area in Seaside. 63 for Monterey as well as Carmel by the sea and down in the Salinas Valley. We would usually see some 70s on this map, but we don't see any today. We've got 68 in Bradley today, 66 in Parkfield and then right in that neighborhood of higher 60s, King City, the San Antonio Valley, but check out the pinnacle 64 today. So not all that warm really at all inland or on the coast. Next seven days though, again, Wednesday morning, a little bit foggy and then the sun comes back out and we've got 70s by Veterans Day. And then the weekend is actually going to be really nice and sunny. Although keep in mind that those uh, overnight temperatures still in the 40s, lower 40s by the end of this week. So it's going to be a little bit chilly overnight for the coast as well. Well, higher 40s overnight, but that's still going to be a little bit cooler, foggy Wednesday morning, higher 60s by Veterans Day, and then we're going to be nice and warm in the 70s for your weekend. Might be a nice one to hit the beach, but for now, enjoy that rain tonight. Have a wonderful Monday.